plan? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a challenge. Jackson police currently have an officer shortage, but Interim Chief Davis says that won't prevent him from using the resources that he has to make the streets safer. A violent weekend in Jackson. Three people were shot and killed. The deadly gunfire driving Interim Chief James Davis to step up patrols across the capital city. You'll see them every day. We're going to have uh, officers on in hot spots throughout the city. Chief Davis says he's extending the July 4th special operation, Safe Streets. That is in full force. We want to cover the whole city. We want to saturate the city with police presence. And the people that are out there committing crime, be warned. We're going to put you in jail. The latest deadly shooting happened on Bailey Avenue near East Fortification Street just before midnight Sunday. Police said a gunman shot another man before taking his car. The weekend's second killing was on Broadmoor Drive off North State Street. Officers found 25-year-old Xavier Cobbs dead inside his home around noon Sunday. There's no word on what led to that shooting. And Saturday morning, officers found 26-year-old Lee Evans lying in the middle of Central Street near Buena Vista Avenue. Police say Evans had been shot multiple times. He died at the scene. You're going to have to stop the violence. You're going to have to find better means to resolve your issues. The chief believes too many people are turning to guns instead of talking to resolve their conflicts. Davis hopes a bigger police presence could discourage people from using a weapon to settle a score. We just want to blanket the whole city to ensure that do we doing all we can as the police department to provide uh, safety for our public. Now, Chief Davis tells us that JPD is holding monthly conflict resolution classes at the police academy. He says it's a chance for people to come out, talk through, talk through their problems instead of resorting to violence. For now, we're live at Jackson Police Headquarters, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.